Ethan here from Triple X Trust and Grudge. And I got in the mail today from Greg Bridgewater of Undercover RC. Now, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, let me enlighten you. Undercover RC. <clears throat> really? If you've ever seen this kind of a wing here or the splitter from the Corvette. If you've ever seen this, um, you know, on my cars, and of course the project's still in working on. I haven't painted this one yet. I'm still debating if I should paint it or just leave it clear. Um, but this is the uh, the splat or the speed sauce, whatever you want to call this paint job. But anyway, so this is one of my other vets I'm working on body. But the other thing we're going to be working on is one for the 69 Nova. Yes. Now, I really want to get a second one. I really want to get a second splitter stuff because I want to do this one as well but I also have a brand new body as you can see here 69 Nova now I've had this body for quite a while this project is for my little boy he's got one of my old bodies right now in his car um, and we're just making sure he likes the Nova body let me show you his car um, I'll let him have this body. I mean, it's been on its roof a few times, but he loves it, and we just want to make sure that this is what he wants, and this is going to be his practice body. And so once we get this body finished, now, what I'm probably going to do is going to get on the horn with him and order a second one of these, um, what else? what I have in the bag. So let's do a, a package opening and that way you can see what he sends you, okay? So hold on. All right. Now, I did already, let me move this car out of the way. I already have um, pre-open the bag just because I want to see where everything is in it. But anyway, usually it comes in an envelope like this. And here's one from the past, another envelope. And um, so it'll come with a tracking number. He's pretty good, pretty cool about that. So we open up the envelope and we're going to dump out everything that's in here. So what you're going to have here is this is a splitter, if that's what you order. That'll go in front of the car. And of course, here's the real rear wing. And of course, the uh, side parts that will go on here. Now, um, they're gonna, it's going to go pretty much like this together. And, and the reason it's going to have a little shape like that is because it's going to have to wrap around the rear of the body. So what I'm going to do is let me move all the stuff and bring it back to Nova and put it right here. So what I'm talking about, and you know what, I'm going to use some tape to put this together real quick for you just so you can see it. Um, Always got to have blue tape around. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to tape this together just to kind of give you an idea for a quickie, quick view of the opening. And make sure the holes are lined up. And just going to make sure I get the holes lined up correctly look correct there's sure got it lined up 
not paying me any money. He just sent me the wing to try it on the car. Now, I'm assuming that maybe you're not supposed to have the other wing on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my son's car that doesn't have the wing on it and have you take a look at it. This is kind of helping because it's kind of setting it on the car where you can kind of get an idea. But we're going to uh, bring my son's car in here. Put this one out of the way. Just to get a mock-up idea. I guess this is a good, good thing to do because this eventually just will be on his car. So, without a wing, you're going to be screwing this directly to this body, like such. So let's go ahead and get some tape out here. And we're going to put a piece of tape across here like this. Make sure we get the split in the right spot. And I'm assuming, looking at the side pieces here, we're going to want these a lot closer, so we're going to have to bring this in a lot further. Okay. And so, get a side view of it. Kind of what it's going to look like, of course, painted or clear, or whatever way you want to run it. And then, of course, we're going to have the splitter. The splitter, just make sure his front end is not that damaged because it's been hit a few times. But the splitter will go underneath the bumper like this. And of course, you'll cut it to shape it the way you want it. Um, I'm not going to do it like I did the Corvette one just because if I did like this here, then I'm going to have all the swoop lines in here or the way this front end shape. And I don't want it that way on this one. So basically, how it's going to be on this one is we're going to mount it up obviously like this and then I'm just going to cut it to make it more square and round it at the end um, so it'll be shaped a little different from the other one and I'm debating about leaving any side pieces sticking out here I have to research that a little bit more but and of course you get your bag of goodies with some your undercover decal on here and you should have enough hardware in this to do your whole project and uh, and if you don't for some odd reason which is really rare you just contact him and he will send them out to you immediately so um, he's all about his customer service just so you know so there you go guys that is the rear wing on the Nova, 69 Nova, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking at here, and I want to go ahead and bring back the blue one out, and I'm going to try this back on here, I want to see something real quick, so yeah. Yeah, you definitely not going to want to run that rear spoiler on there because it's definitely going to, I guess, pretty much spoil the whole situation. Now, you could probably cut it and use it to help stabilize it, but, nah, I think it's too much in the way. But, I do like the way this thing looks on here, but it's not for this car. You know, it's not for this one. It's going to be for the new build. And so the thing that we're going to be doing for this one now, I know I haven't finished the, the vet project yet. It's going to get painted. This is just a box opening to show you. So I'm also doing a secondary box opening with the Proline body. So let me adjust the camera to the little bit better angle. All right, I think that's better, hopefully. So, okay. We'll see 
sealed. So you're just going to basically pop this open. And of course, it's going to give you some info about masking your windows and stuff. And then we're going to be pulling the body out. And of course, there's your body. Now the body looks a little blurry because there is an outer coating on here. So you don't get overspray and stuff. So when you're done and you peel it, it's going to be as shiny as the blue one. So let's set that body there for a second. And obviously, there's all the decals for your grill and stuff. And of course, the screws and stuff that are supposed to hold the wing on. You won't need those to hold that wing on because you're not going to be using that wing if you use the, uh, the undercover drag wing and of course your window maskings are in here and there's just a catalog of some more stuff that they got coming out I'm gonna place all this back in here because I don't want to lose it but when you go to cut this body out you're gonna be cutting your wheel wells and so forth you want to do all that before you paint and it makes it a lot easier and then what you can do is when you cut out this back end here save this wing for another project if you decide you want to use it on something else go for it yeah, or you can just buy another wing and put it on there. So that's what it's going to look like, of course, painted. So, but the thing I'm going to be doing on this one here is I'm going to be mocking everything up before I paint everything. So the undercover RC wing will be painted along with this car now. Am I going to make it match the car or am I going to do black highlights? I'm not sure yet. I'm actually thinking about leaving the center clear due to sides um, painted to uh, maybe match the car and leave the center clear. I'm not sure yet. I'm still work trying to decide if that's what I want to do. And of course, we got for the splitter, it's got to go on here. So, um, You know, the thing is I wanted to look at as well. So this front end needs to be trimmed and so forth. And what I'm thinking I'm doing here is I might leave a little bit of this lip here. Maybe, or maybe not. Now yeah, maybe I gotta cut it out. I do have to cut it out. I think there's a cut line right here that we're gonna be cutting on. So yeah, scratch that thought. That was just a, a brain thought. Uh, so anyway, we're going to be putting this all back in the bag for now. It's not going to get done today, just so you know. Um, this is going to be done at a date after I get the other project done, which will be the Corvette behind me, the blue, uh, the orange one, and I'm going to go ahead and take tape off of this stuff because we don't want to. These already been professionally bent for you guys, so you don't want to squish them. And I know you kind of worry about it when you're they're being shipped to you, but if you think about it, um, if they can sustain <laughs> withstand the. Uh, United States Postal Service being shipped to you. Pretty good wing, you know. And, uh, yep, so I'm just going to go ahead and put all this back in the package with the splitter. And we're going to save this for the day we're doing the whole thing. So, I'm put that the package in there. So, this weekend, we've got a couple of videos going to be happening, and one of them is going to be putting together the putting together this car, cutting it, painting it. This is Fourth of July weekend, so you have to bear with me. If it doesn't get done this weekend, it'll be definitely done by next weekend. Because as much as I love RCs, family first. We're going to be doing family stuff.
we really can have fireworks in many places because of the gatherings. Or if you're in California and got the brush fires and stuff, the dry climate, then yeah, you may not be doing it there. But anyway, just put this back together like this, back in the bag. I'm going to set it back over here and bring out the vet. So what's going to happen now to the vet is we need to completely take apart the whole wing and splitter and put it all back together again. So that is what is due next here. Um, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to completely dismantle this thing, prep it for paint. Um, it's morning time, humidity's still a little high, so it might not be a good time to paint yet. So we'll see. Um, so stand by. And now we'll take it off. Now, so you see your body's cut, but it's got all the holes drilled. And of course, I haven't taken the front off yet. Um, and I'll do that off camera. That's not a big deal. You just got to take a lot of screws out. But what I wanted to go over with is this. Okay. You don't want to paint it put together. And I'll tell you why. Because, one, if you're going to paint it, unless you're just going to paint the outsides and the top, I mean, I guess that's fine. It's just that when you hit, you're going to scratch. If you want it to have a shine like the body, but not get scratched up or lose the paint, the best way to do it is take it apart. I'm going to paint here. You can see I already took a marker and wrote P for paint. Same thing over here, P for paint. And underneath here, P for paint. So this is going to be top. And I'll just put a right and a left. So I'm not going to be taking this outer skin off or this top skin off. Just to peel off here and the inside here where I got to paint. And that's the reason I'm going to do it that way. So, let me go ahead and finish taking this apart real quick. And we'll go over that. Make sure everything goes into a little container. I always save servo containers because they make the best little screw holders. I know a lot of guys use magnetics, but you know what? Magnetics don't work on stainless steel or polyurethane nuts, so yeah. So it really doesn't matter if you want to use a magnetic tray or not, it's just not gonna do anything for you. And uh, you can see it's coming apart pretty easily just because I didn't like super tighten everything up. I just uh, snugged it up, put it together. Okay, so where the R is, this is going to be a no paint. This will be a paint. So you got your P and your P and your P. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off this. Now some of it might be the white and some of it might be the clear. Okay. And it's because when he puts the sheet in the cutter, it's doing one side. So it's going to do a right and a left. So if it's doing a right and left, then this side is going to be probably the clear. So, you have a white and the clear. Still going to leave this alone where your L and R is. Paint. So, we're going to peel off that. So that is ready for paint, but not yet. So what you're going to want to do is either get a very clean, um, I use microfiber, you can probably use whatever, you just don't want to leave lint behind. And put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I'll just do that just to keep fingerprints off. You can always tell the difference from the bottom and top here because you can see how it, it's still cloudy, but it's more cloudy here. And of course the way you spell top, if not backwards. So clean this. Just rubbing alcohol. And then of course this one here too. Rubbing alcohol tends to evaporate quickly, which is good. If you don't want something 
need to stay on. Okay. And as well as this. Now, I know we started with the splitter, part one, and so forth, and then part three is going to both. I'm going to get to the splitter. Just give me a moment. So everything's prepped and clean. Now, I use a box to do my painting in. I got a screw. As you can see, this box, I'm using it for painting. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to set these in here the way I need them to be painted. Splitter, a whole lot of screws, as you can see. And there is two, four, six, eight, ten screws. I think I'm almost right. All right. So we have to take these off. And again, like I said, I just. I did not use um, I did not put these on super tight. Definitely gonna put the polyurethane in the holder. Some of these screws are not coming all the way out. thing is you don't want to lose them. That's another reason I use this type of mat that's got like a ripple to it. So things don't roll away quickly either. That's pretty much what we're doing, just taking all the screws out. So now, now there's a tip attached, we're going to take and put the body away. I don't need it right now. We're going to move the drill out of the way. And we're going to close the lid. And just in case this little bad boy decides to fall off the table, we're going to put a piece of tape on it. That way I know what this is for. So, now on this one, we didn't write on it, but we know pointing upward is the top, and we want to paint the bottom. Now, I know some of you guys probably say, well, you paint the, and this is going to rub, and it's going to paint off. Well, I showed you on the last video, or one of the videos, 
on my Corvette that happened on the black one. And so what I did is basically, if I go black, I can always highlight it in black and make it look good. Now, if you just want to do the top, that's fine. You could paint the top. Um, I just want to do the bottom, but maybe on this one, maybe I should do the top. Um, it's just the only thing is, is you're not going to get that glossy look. And let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. So, as you can see, see how shiny it is, and shiny is the body. Now, if I paint it, it's not going to be that shiny. It's going to be a little bit more kind of a dull shiny. And you can see the scratches here, but what I did is... I just touch it up with paint. I just give it a little shot like this at an angle that way and really never had any overspray issues and you just touch up the little scratches here. So I would say just basically don't worry about the, um, I'm just doing the bottom. That's just my preference. Um, like I said, you guys can do the top if you like. I see well, one guy take that carbon fiber vinyl stuff and put it on top of here and then trimmed it out. It looked pretty decent, so I mean, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom line. I'm going to peel this all off. Put that over here. And of course, take the alcohol. For the most part, this should be nice and clean anyway. But fold this a little bit so it doesn't get so snaggy. So it's all nice and clean. And let me get my box. Inside the box. And of course it in the box. Right, give me a second and I'll show you how I got everything laid out. As you can see in the box here. So as you can see in the box, I have everything laid out. This is the side that's all going to get painted. And I'm going to flip these around because that way I can paint that edge and here. I don't need to paint the back side of anything. That, everything's laid out. So there everything, there you go guys. So, what needs to be done now is of course paint. And one of the things I always tell people to do, if you're gonna paint, is do a very light coat. Something I learned to do by watching somebody else's YouTube video, and it worked. Um, so, the paint I'm gonna use on this, Now, this is basic black. And the reason I'm going basic black with this is because if I do metallic black, a lot of times, um, if I'm scratching the front of this, it may not look as good. Um, but then again, it could, I guess. So, unless I just want to do this and this and this and that and do this and basic, I can do that as well. I think I'm just going to go with all of it with the metallic black. Let me make sure I've got it. Stand by. That's right, guys. <laughs> I just remembered I didn't get metallic black. I got basic black to do all this. So that's how it's going to be, basic black. So it's going to look good. Good and shiny. So stand by. Okay, guys. What I'm doing now, since uh, I can't really get a good angle on the camera, so I'm just going to show you the first coat. But I'm taking the heat gun and heating the inside of the box up. Now, I don't want to heat it up so much it's going to bend everything and warp it. But I want to heat it up to get the humidity out of there. And so my first coat's going to look good. Let me throw some more lighting in here. I think that helps a little bit. And, of course, the paint. Shake it up real good. And... 
All you're doing is misting. Sometimes it gets a little heavier than you want it to be, but. Okay. Now, as frustrating as it sounds, you need to let it dry. I'm gonna run the heat one more time in here. And um, that was only coat number one, of course. And hard to see what I'm looking at, but things look like they're starting to disappear in here. Okay, now we're gonna let it sit for another 15 minutes. And, and then paint it again. So I guess the next video you're gonna see, or the next scene you're gonna see is basically after it's dry, I put it back together and get ready to mount it back on the car. So, sorry I'm doing a lot of breakup on this video. Um, so the next video you'll see is basically once this is completely cured and dried and then I screw it together and remount it back on the vehicle. So there will be a part four. Um, and then of course, once we're done with that, then we'll be moving on to doing the ProLine 69, um, Nova. And I know my son will be ecstatic because that's going to be his car I'm doing. And, um, so anyway, this is, uh, it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs. And I get to watch paint dry.